Welcome back to HealthWise with Dr. Eric Chapman. Doc, we were talking about swine flu. What exactly are the symptoms? I mean, the specifics. Well, the main things with influenza in general, sore throat, fever, chills, body aches, feeling tired or fatigued. Um, also what they've seen with, the, uh, with this influenza virus, the swine flu, was that they did, there was more of incidence of vomiting and diarrhea, gastrointestinal or stomach type symptoms than you typically would get with the influenza that we see. Um, so those are the things, the fever, especially being one of the, the main components that you would expect, but sore throat, body aches, chills, potentially some intestinal symptoms. Well, what should I do, well, myself or the audience, everybody, what, what should be done once these uh, symptoms exhibit, uh, what should I do, what should you do, you know, should you? Go in and seek medical care to you, and, and not going to the emergency room necessarily would be, I mean, that's not really an answer, going to your established primary care physician, potentially even a walk-in clinic. Um, typically going to your primary care physician would be the, the best answer. One of the things that's happened is that the emergency rooms have become inundated and flood, flooded with people coming in. As a matter of fact, recommendations that were put out even more recently, um, as far as an algorithm, the, the steps that we follow in diagnosing, uh, they were really moving away from even um, doing the testing on people unless they really had the fever. And even if they had fever, if they were clinically stable, meaning they didn't need to be hospitalized, it was somebody who could go home, there was still a question as to whether even to test them for the flu because uh, I think what they were seeing was just a leveling off of the number of cases. So. Um, you know, I think most of the time we're still with uh, people who are going to want to know if they have it, and I think to help with surveillance, we still do the testing. But then getting treatment is the next step, though. Um, and of course, knowing if you have it would guide our treatment. So we do the testing for it, and if it becomes positive, if it shows positive, then there's medications that we use for it. Um, well, basically, that's leading into the next question. What is the treatment for swine flu or influenza? For influenza, there's two main, medic two main newer medications. Uh, one called Tamiflu, which people may have heard about, which is a pill, and which is taken usually twice a day for five days, and actually as a dose for kids also that comes in a, a liquid or a suspension that you base on weight and age. Um, it can be used as a preventive as well as a treatment. Not preventive, giving you long-term protection like a vaccine would, but if you were in direct contact with someone who had it, it could prevent you from getting it at that particular time, not weeks or months later, as a vaccine could. Relenza is another medication that's an inhaled medication, again, twice a day for five days. Um, there are some older medications that we use for influenza that they don't think are going to be effective or have not been shown to be effective for swine flu for H1N1, one called flumidine, one called Simetril or Mantadine. So there's some, these medicines have been around for many years now, but have not been shown to be effective for this particular influenza virus. Um, the other things are hydration, again, treating the fever. People get dehydrated. Anytime you have a fever, you get dehydrated very easily, especially if you're not feeling well and not eating as, easy, as, as much. And definitely if you're having diarrhea or vomiting, you really get dehydrated. So if you're not able to get oral fluids in, that would be one reason to potentially hospitalize you, or at least have you treated in the emergency room where you can get IV fluids in. And then the medications help to shorten the course of symptoms, mm -hmm. reduce the severity of symptoms, and just get you feeling better a lot faster. Well, that's, that's great. Well, Doc, we've got a couple of minutes left in the show, and uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, where exactly did you uh, go to school at? Where did you get your training? Uh, and what made you decide to come back to Opelousas? Well, I'm originally from Opelousas, um, born and raised here, went to high school here. I went to OC when I was younger and graduated from Opelousas High. Uh, did my um, undergraduate at Southern University in Baton Rouge and then medical school at Meharry Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I did my residency training in internal medicine in Lafayette at University Medical Center through the LSU system. And, you know, at the time I finished, there was still a need for primary care physicians here in the area. And uh, thank goodness there was the opportunity and I was able to come back here uh, with some assistance from Opelousa General Hospital and um, got started in practice and it's been going well since then. 
Great. And like I said, I hear a lot of good things about you, Doc. And uh, of course, I've been knowing you and your family for a while. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's great that you were able to come back. And it's always good to come back. I, like you, I left for a little while and came back. So it's always great to come back to Opelousas. Yeah, I think it's the good thing about the medical field is that it really gives you those opportunities and options on being in small town versus large city and have an opportunity to serve the community that you know and love. Well, and I know we don't have much time left, but I know with this hurricane season coming up, y'all are gearing up for that also. And uh, Doc, I just wanted to thank you. You know, last time during the hurricane, you were real helpful. Uh, there was a lot of people that needed medical attention and you know, you were able to kind of step up. Thanks, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. we, we try to do what we can. Well, great, and look forward to working with you this year. Hopefully, we don't have any hurricanes yeah, that require yeah. little, us to... A little bit of a reprieve you know, from it this but, year. But I hope we get a break. But, Doc, once again, thank you for coming on the show. And audience, thank you for joining us on HealthWise, and we'll see you again next week. HealthWise is brought to you in part by Opelousas General Health System.